Hey y'all, Tom, ND3N here, and welcome to my Radio Shack for a Ham Shack Chat. After my first video about WinLink, I received many comments and suggestions that I should do a follow-up video using the Vera HFTNC instead of RDOP, and that is this video. I'll start by letting you know that just about everything in that previous video and we'll go ahead and stick a tag up to here. Uh, as far as setting up the FT991 goes is identical to the setup for your rig on this video. Nevertheless, I will put a summary of all the different settings for you down in the video description. I'll also add a link to that video in the video description. We're gonna start by opening up one link using the checkerboard icon. Uh, which I have down in my taskbar, also on my desktop. We'll click there and bring up WinLink. You'll see that I am set on RDOP. I'm going to come over here to our little email indicator and create a new email. And we're going to send off an email to me at my Gmail account. And we're just going to call it something simple like testing Vara HF. And we'll put down here uh, yet another demo of WinLink. And we will post this to our outbox. Right down here is the link to the Vera downlink site. And uh, you want to download it and install it. I think you guys know how to do that. And again, I'll remind you that the previous video for the menu, the mode, the function settings, and the device manager port verifications, that's 100% the same as you'll use from here. And for brevity's sake, I'm going to ask you to do your homework. I, th really, if you've got Vera up in RDOP, that's all you need to know. So now we're going to change from RDOP WinLink to Vera HF WinLink, and we're going to open the session. And go through a few settings over here. And we're all up and, and plugged in and connected. We want to start by the Vara TNC setup. Uh, the only thing you really need to check here is to make sure you have your virtual command port and data port. And uh, these should always be 8300 and 8301. Also, uh, check these two boxes. It'll make life easier on you. Previously, when you got to here, if you didn't have those boxes checked, Vera HF came up minimized. This makes it come up on your screen right away. And I'm just going to cancel this. Of course, if I had updated it, it would have reset. Now we're going to come up here. We're going to go to radio setup. The radio setup, you put in your Yesu FT991 in this pull down. You have a USB digital. Uh, you put your enhanced COM port in here. For me, it's COM5, and the baud rate is a 9600. Uh, RTS and DTR are checked off, and your number and baud rate will be whatever you selected. Previously, I had put the my COM6, which is my standard, and uh, enabled RTS, uh, but that was giving me an error. So uh, I had actually downloaded uh, new drivers while I was trying to troubleshoot that. And I noticed that the new driver off the Yesu website was labeled differently than the previous one. The previous one was labeled Windows 10. This one was labeled Windows 10 slash 11. So maybe that is what happened here and why it wasn't working. But you just uh, set your serial port to FT991A 
And if you recall in setting up WSJTX, there's a button there that allows you to select cat. I believe that's what's happening in here. And if I'm wrong, I'm always open to uh, constructive criticism and uh, you, you know, go ahead and correct me, but this works for me. So I'm going to close this and I'm going to come down here to my settings. I'm going to go to Vara setup. Now you'll notice here's my TCP ports, uh, which are 8300, 8301. You need to put your call sign in here. I have registered this copy of uh, Vara setup and you can see over here uh, it says this is a registered version of Vara TNC that can operate at full speed. So you, there are some benefits to registration, uh, but there's absolutely no reason why you have to go out and get a registration key. Vara will work with you. Uh, it does give you some bennies. And I like to uh, donate uh, to uh, people who put the effort in to giving me this kind of access. So now we'll close that. I'm going to come down here to settings again. I'm going to click on my sound card and you want to make sure that your codecs are here. Uh, another cool thing that this does uh, is allows you to do this. You click on that and I'm getting a tone. Now what you want to do is set your ALC to one third. So I'm going to reduce my, my DT gain until I get about one third which for me is a DT gain of 10. Your mileage will certainly vary. Get that 130 ALC going and then you can turn off and we'll close that. And now we are ready to send. So I made a mistake on my previous video uh, when I went to check it out and it wasn't in my Gmail inbox. Got a little get, bit confused until I remembered that when I did this reply, I did not include another email so uh, let me add my email to that one and just say second sending oops on the first and I'm going to oh, I got to give this one 73d Tom and d3n and post to outbox so it's now in my outbox outbox so now I'm going to start this again when it actually makes a connect, I will go ahead and uh, start the timer. Last time was uh, about a minute and a half. Okay, we're connected and going to fast forward. In my ever so humble opinion, Vara HF, uh, when compared to RDOP, is faster to connect, faster to exchange your data, less affected by noise on the bands, and overall, at least to me, was much more enjoyable to use. Once you get it set up and working, feel free to send an email via WinLink to my WinLink email address and let me know how it worked out for you. I will reply back. If you've enjoyed this video and are going to try Vera HF, please give me a like. Please like me. Please. If you have any questions or more info to share, constructive criticism is always welcome. Please make judicious use of that comment section. Tell me about it. Please share. Everyone, I get to tell everyone this video with your friend, FT991A cohorts, and other WinLink enthusiasts, especially on social media, please. And finally, please consider subscribing. Sign me up. To this channel. 73 until the next 
Hey y'all, as always, I'm at your service. I'm Tom, ND3N, with yet another Ham Shack Chat, and I am out.